Hey, my name is Jake Snowden. I'm here today to talk to you about my new lavalier setup. I'm using an Audio Technica ATR3350, a StarTech, some sort of Y splitting cable, and a Samsung Galaxy Vibrant old phone. So the Audio Technica ATR3350 is pretty awesome. For 20 bucks, it's battery powered, which means you don't need phantom power and you can use cheap phones. I would say it'd be nice if the battery power on it was some sort of like more common battery, AAA, AA. Audio Technica also says that these batteries will last around a thousand hours. And I'd probably do it a little bit more often than that considering a pack of 50 is only $12. So beyond the microphone itself, which you can hear right now, I used a little Y splitting cable. Um, I had it without the cable, tried it, didn't work so well. Lavalier mic without the cable. Lavalier mic with the cable. I have no idea why this cable works so well. Maybe someone that has a little bit more technology than I do can let me know. So the final piece of the equation was a smartphone. And smartphones can be expensive, but if you have one laying around, you upgraded last year, or your mom upgraded and she gave you a phone, wipe the dust off, charge it up, and try it out. I use Androids, personally. And I think they're a much better option for this because they have removable micro SD cards. Plus, on an 8 gig card, you can record for 24 hours of audio. My phone will definitely die before my audio cuts out. On the note of sound recorders, I tried it with my H4n and I have not had much luck with it. It's quite possible that with an H1 you might have better luck. I'm really interested in getting one and trying it out myself. I'm going to keep working with the H4n see if I can't get it to work, but for now, the phone works pretty well. If you have any idea why the H4n wouldn't work for me, please let me know. Beyond the H4n not working with it, there is no indicator light to let you know that the battery is still working or that it's on or anything of the sort. That would be awesome. 3.5 millimeter jacks aren't exactly ideal. I know XLRs are, but then you can't use it with your phone. The final problem that I see with it is that you can't really monitor your audio. Sure, if you could plug it into one of the zooms, you could definitely plug some headphones into it, but I have yet to find a way to also listen to what you're recording while you're using your phone. I would highly suggest using another form of audio along with your lavalier microphone. So personally, when I go on shoots, I'll also hook up a shotgun microphone to my H4n and have my 5G recording audio as well. I do this just in case all of my audio decides to spontaneously combust, which you never know. If you found any of this information entertaining, useful, you like laughing at me when I talk, I don't know, subscribe and I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, keep on filming and I'll see you later.